All righty, I'm in a fantastic mood. Things are starting to happen at Canada's Wonderland, which means we are getting close to opening. I know I'm a little, a little too soon with that, but you know what? For considering what we're going through in this world right now, we're getting close to opening. Um, that being said, um, I'm super excited. It's my birthday tomorrow, so I'm super excited about that. Um, not gonna say my age, <laughs> but nonetheless, it's my birthday tomorrow. Um, and what better way to celebrate than posting an update? And I went to go fly and I was expecting just like a small update and I had heard some things through the wind. Um, and I went to go fly and holy smokes, there's a lot to talk about. Um, literally within what, on a, just a week, I just posted a week ago, there's already been a lot um, of changes. So let's go over uh, in detail. I'm gonna insert some super zoomed in shots. So of course when I, literally edit these shots and zoom them in on my computer, it distorts the quality. So I apologize for the blurriness, and that is just me abiding by the rules, flying at the height I'm allowed to fly at, and the distance I'm allowed to fly at from the park, and I'm super zooming. So I will show you exactly um, the ability I'm able to show you guys, but it's better than nothing, right? So that being said, the restaurant is definitely looking a lot larger than I thought. Uh, seeing people inside the actual building, brought perspective to me on the actual size. Now, during the ACE event, we were told that it would not take up most of the firework hill, but that is definitely proven very incorrect based off of what we're seeing from the drone. Most of the firework hill is taken up by this restaurant, and that's not even including the patio that's gonna go along the outer portion of the building, including some of the design in the back with the patio and the firework uh, fireplaces. Also to talk about, um, over in Medfair, very interesting. So I noticed about a week ago um, that there was some roof work going on the, the building for Canterbury Theatre. And um, I thought nothing of it. I was like, no point in talking about it. It's, they're just probably tarring it the same way they tarred the top of the mountain. Not interesting whatsoever. Well, I noticed that Wonderland had actually had these like kind of like air conditioning or heating um, cooling units in the parking lot storage area with that new, what we thought was the parade float, but it's actually just Winterfest storage. Um, and they are now on top of the Canterbury Theater. They were installed. So whether that is heating or air conditioning or both, um, those have been installed. They're working on the roof as well. Uh, I'll insert um, a super zoomed in shot. And they got some scaffolding going up around the building as well, which is super interesting. Um, it is most likely just some fine tuning. Um, I've been hearing that there's going to be a lot of fine tuning going on at Wonderland um, with painting and making things really pretty. So this is probably one of those. Um, it'd be really interesting to see if they actually start to utilize that building for something else potentially. I don't see it. It's a very important building Winterfest wise. So I definitely just think they're installing actual better air conditioning or air filtration, whatever that may be. And they're going to paint the exterior of the building to maybe blend into Medfair a little better. That could be very well it. Um, so super excited to see what that ends up being. I uh, just thought you guys would be super interested in that. A drop power is getting ready. So if you look very closely, I'll insert a super zoomed in shot. The maintenance, um, I don't know what it's called, but the maintenance to, uh, compartment is attached to drop tower and it's up, meaning they're probably looking at the cables and analyzing the ride, getting it ready to potentially start testing. Um, for those of you that don't know, Wonderland will start getting rides ready probably in the next two to three weeks. Um, in the next two to three weeks, we will see rides running. Um, again, you'll see that on this channel, so keep your eyes peeled. We'll know exactly when the rides are testing or uh, doing their cycles, so we'll be there filming. So super excited about that. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. <laughs> Planet Snoopy still has its Winterfest decorations up. Um, and uh, yes, there's some new construction trailers popping up in some weird locations. So we have a new one in Yukon Strikers area, which I thought was interesting because we now have a construction trailer in the Yukon area, um, in the 90s diner, 60s diner, whatever it is, the Cars themed diner near Slingshot. There's one there. There's one right behind... Um, I always forget what these tent theaters are called. Behind the tent theater, uh, across from Wonder Mountain's Garden, there's one behind there. So definitely a lot popping up, which is very interesting. I have no idea what this new one by Yukon could be for, but there's been vehicles parked there, so it could just be um, for another new project that's coming, and they'll move it um, once the park starts to open. Again, you're going to start seeing Wonderland working on 2023-2024 projects, 
Um, and you could start seeing construction trailers popping up in various parts of the park. Again, the park is going to be focusing a lot on infrastructure on top of some new additions as well. Cedar Fair has announced a very hefty budget for 2023 attractions and additions and infrastructure. And I do predict Canada's Wonderland is going to be one of the parks receiving a good, you know, portion of it, a healthy portion like the other parks at Kings Island, Carowinds, um, Knott's Berry Farm and Cedar Point. I don't know if I said that already. Um, on top of that, I'm trying to think if I missed anything. Um, the wood at front gate still have no idea what it could be for. It could potentially just be Winterfest takedown, as I said before. So we're going to keep that out of it. Uh, a fence has gone up in the parking lot. So this is what's this is what's really baffling me. Um, it's interesting timing. There's three porta potties that have been set up. A giant blue fence in a very small portion of the parking lot. I'll insert an image. Um, that goes from the pedestrian midway, the midsection of the parking lot where pedestrians walk towards front gate, all the way to the toll booths. And then it's angled away as if cars are, it's going to be set up all season. Um, so cars will be able to drive still, which I thought was interesting. I normally Wonderland rents out their parking lot and this is what it very well could be for, but I'm just under the assumption that there are no cars currently to store in parking lots right now. There's a huge shortage on brand new cars. Thus, Wonderland wouldn't necessarily be renting out their parking lot to that, but who knows? It could be for something else. Maybe it's buses um, uh, and stuff like that. I have no idea. Again, it's a really tricky thing. Um, I can't see it being construction either. Like, why do that right as... You know, the park's going to open in a month and two weeks, something like that, month and three weeks. Um, so it's very interesting, uh, interesting timing, um, very weird. Um, it could be just repaving. That would be appropriate timing, to be honest. Like, we could see them just repaving. The parking lot is in really bad condition, and this could just be part of that. Um, so we'll be keeping an eye on that as well. Um, and nonetheless, that could be it. I think that's it. Yeah, um, so we, again, a lot going on in the various sections of the park. We are noticing um, a dugout section across from the restaurant as well um, by the mountain. So we're going to keep an eye on that. That would be an interesting place um, for them to relocate. Like, um, you know, like we were wondering where maybe the Cookie Witch place is going to go. It could be um, our Coke refresh station across from the restaurant. Um, or it very well could just be um, theming or nothing at all. But nonetheless, we are noticing something going on across from the restaurant with the digger, as you can see in the shot right now. So we'll keep an eye there. And I think that's it for now. Um, but yeah, that, to me, that was a lot. Like for considering a week ago that most of this wasn't going on, uh, a lot has changed. Um, again, uh, we are seeing nothing with the wooden coasters and I was expecting something to go on with the wooden coasters. So maybe something's changed. Maybe they weren't able to hire the carpenters in time. Um, we do still have a bit of time. Like they could technically still try and squeeze it in, but with staffing, um, issues going on in North America, I definitely think that that would be really risky. Um, but nonetheless, we could still see it, but I'm really starting to think that, you know, maybe we're going to start to see something going on. I am expecting, again, this is my opinion here. This is take this with a grain of salt, but I am expecting Canada's Wonderland to start some ride removals. Um, we are getting to that point. A lot of other parks have done it, and we're getting to our point where we're, we should start seeing some of these older attractions getting pulled out to make way for some newer attractions. It's not to say Wonderland's out of land. There's definitely places Wonderland can build attractions without removing attractions. But in terms of maintenance costs, ridership, and then just even staffing the amount of attractions that Wonderland has, it's quite the nightmare. So I definitely um, expect Cedar Fair to start making some executive decisions to pull some of these older attractions um, with lower ridership and high maintenance costs out of the park. It's not going to be Sledgehammer. I'm telling you that right now. Sledgehammer is here to stay. I can confirm that for at least now. Uh, but nonetheless, thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully you're having an amazing week so far. Um, and yeah, you'll probably start to see some updates a little more often now. Have a good one, guys. Bye.